I'm here in Lake Chapala in Ajijic, about an hour outside of Guadalajara. It's September 15th, and tonight, going into tomorrow, September 16th, when Mexicans celebrate Mexican Independence Day, and the party starts tonight, and there's just a beautiful fair going on here along the Malecon, the walkway on the water. And I'm just gonna take you through a stroll of all these beautiful vendors. And today, selling lots of handmade stuff, all sorts of nice crafts and beautiful stuff, more art and food and less plastic and yucky stuff, and a lot of beautiful jewelry. Hola, como estas? A lot of beaded jewelry. Ajijic is also the largest concentration of gringos from the U.S. and Canada living here in Mexico. I believe there's somewhere between 20 and 30,000 uh, gringos living in this general area in the towns along the lake that include Lake Chapala, Ajijic, San Antonio, Rivera de Pilar, Jocotepec, Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Qué hermoso. Muy bien, gracias. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Bien, gracias. Hola. Hola. Hola, hermoso. So this is Lake Chapala, the largest lake in all of Mexico. Again, we're about an hour outside of Guadalajara in Lake Chapala. And the town here is at somewhere close to 5,000 feet of altitude. So the climate year round is wonderful. And there's just a very vibrant community here. Pan de elote, al tequila. Weed free? No, gracias. Ah, sí. Gracias. Mm. Delicioso. Hola. Children's playground here on the right. Public bathrooms. And then I'm just gonna walk down along the Malecon here on the weekends. Lots of people from Guadalajara come for day trips. Tons of restaurants and cafes, art galleries, small shops, delicious food. And I'm just gonna keep walking down here. Buenas tardes. To the middle of the Malecon here, there's a nice skate park with some beautiful murals and the Ajijic sign, which you see in many cities around Mexico. This, this green stuff down here is called Liria or Lirio. It actually wasn't here a week or so ago. 
but this is the rainy season during the summer, July and August and September. And further up the lake, rivers that drain into the lake, uh, the floodgates were lifted. And as the water comes rushing down, it rips all this greenery out of the, uh, out of the riverbeds and then brings it down here into the lake. So it's all floating, it's not attached and it's invasive. I think the story goes something like in the past, one of the Mexican heads of state or the president was traveling in the forties and his wife saw this beautiful, you know, it's got a very pretty purple flower that you can't see very clearly, but his wife loved it so much, brought it back to Mexico. And now it's like a plague <laughs> where it's colonized all sorts of uh, bodies of water across Mexico and is a huge problem. So they come in with machines and by hand and have to remove it. But you can see the beautiful hills and the mountains above the town here. Right now it's the tail end of the wet season, so everything's super juicy and lush. All kinds of festivals down here on the waterfront. And then this is the Ayahik sign. Like I said, it's the highest concentration of gringos anywhere in Mexico big retirement community, but also a very international scene with a lot of retirees. And this is my special young friend here. What's up, Casper? How you doing, Hi. brother? Good to see you, bud. And this is the skate park. Downtown Ahihik is just right over here. We're gonna walk up and in celebration of Independence Day, there's uh, a lot of festivities going on that we're gonna check out. So this is a skate park. Again, this is the waterfront Malecon in Ajijic, Mexico, about an hour outside of Guadalajara. Happy Mexican Independence Day.